Deciding what anime to watch can be really hard sometimes. Every new season of anime seems to be getting better and better, and there are thousands of classics on my watch later list that I have yet to get around to, alongside a bunch of recommendations I've gotten from all of you. Really, if I wanted to, I could sit down and watch amazing anime every day for years and never get bored. Or I could pick completely random shows from the depths of Mal using a barely functional website that I made, and review them for all of you. Again. But see, I've already done that four times now. Last episode I even spiced things up and made a bit of a game out of it. And even that got a little boring. So this time, I want more. More anime, more randomness, more people. And I know just who to call to help me. This is Mumi and Sai. They run an anime podcast called The Weeb Crew. They're pretty smart guys, they've seen a lot of anime, and when I challenged them to a game of random anime bingo, let's just say they were pretty excited. What on earth is this? This is Anime Bingo, the one and only place where people can watch uh, YouTubers suffer watching anime for their own enjoyment at home. So is this like a ritualistic kind of thing that we're doing? Is it like a, like a cabin in the woods situation? Are we like a, appeasing some old gods? No, we won't actually be killing each other. I'm sorry. That uh. is not, it's not a gladiator arena. It's the gladiator arena of anime. So do we, do we fill the bingo card out with the blood of our victims? I, you're stuck on the victims thing. You're stuck on the blood sports thing. This is anime. This is not, this is not uh, gladiatorial combat. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought we were here for a ritual. What? People like this? So now that we have some willing participants, let's explain the rules. Random Anime Bingo is a bit different from the game your grandma plays every weekend. Every player, which will be three in this case because me, Mumi, and Sai will all be competing individually, is given a list of anime tropes and common things to find on my anime list. You can pick any of these tropes and place them anywhere on your bingo card, and if we spin the wheel of random anime and land on something that has that trope, you can use it to make a bingo. Every anime we spin can only be used for one space in the card, and we can't fill out a space until we finish the anime, so you do have to think about where you put your spaces, because all it takes is one line to win the game. The only extra challenge that we all agreed on was that our center free space had to be a genre that you could find on Mal. So with all that out of the way, it's time to make our cards. Alright, so I am going up against two people who have seen collectively much more anime than I have, which I think means that I can't play fair. I have to play dirty here, I have to pick cards and spaces that will guarantee me a win in my own random game show that I made up basically on the spot 10 minutes ago. Okay, now let's let's fucking let's fucking do this for real. All right. So, so, firstly, having spun a lot of anime on my anime randomizer, I know that a good selection is always something that is under 10 minutes and or a music video. That's like pretty much guaranteed. Oh, uh, I mean right off the bat, music video Music video looks very enticing, so I think I'm definitely going to want to go with music video. That's why you don't do favors for people for a burrito from Chipotle, goddamn. For another space, I'm definitely going to go bottom 10,000 on Mal. That is a wide selection, and I think that it will come in handy later. I definitely feel like the 2010s is a pretty good pick as well, so let me grab that. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to grab sexism. All right, so sexism, we're gonna just going to put right here i think that's it's pretty comfortable right there i think that cop and magic are good choices i think that those will work out pretty well a sexism uh the racism would get you canceled all of them we're just grabbing those those are going to be our middle row um, <laughs> child ara ara we like ara ara uh we'll just put that no, no real strategy behind that. We're just going to put that right here. I I don't know what Lex meant by this, but being right above sexism and racism, incest, uh, gaijin would get you canceled. Child. Now, I do have the meme corner over here, which is a risky play, uh, but will actually get us pretty far. So I'm actually going to go child. Uh, I like the cicadas. I don't I don't necessarily like just that so we're gonna put we're gonna put this image of shinji with cicadas beatboxing that's gonna be top middle oh fan service oh there's definitely gonna be fan service in here absolutely this is a lextorious video you, you expecting like fan service to not come up at least once come on fan service is literally what my channel is known for at this point so i feel like i have to pick that one ugly show we we love ugly shows here all right 
I, I, in fact, I, I take exception to the fact that this is a, a category at all. Ugly show? What? You think Ping Pong the Animation is an ugly show? Just to prove my point, we're going to put Ping Pong the Animation right there. Honestly, I think to close it out, I'm just going to go with a banger OP. Not because I think it'll be that common, but because I hope I find a show that just has a really good OP. I could, I could really use that. Uh, this is, this is just complete chaos right now. Actually, um, I don't know if I, I <laughs> but I, I know what I'm doing. It's fine. We seem to have all gone with. Have we all picked child? Is child a, a shoe in? <laughs> I didn't know what it meant, so I was just like, what did he mean? Like, because it was, you put it there with like racism and sexism and stuff. And I was yeah, like, so it's things mean? that could get you canceled was the category. Child is not something that could get you canceled. It is just the existence of a child in a show, which possibly could get you canceled depending on the usage of said child. Yes. But if a child shows up at all, you get the space. So okay. it's a pretty easy pick. We got no subs on here, so if we if we find... A YouTube video based on this video that a person has no subs, you get that spot. That's not how that works, but okay. Well, my strategy was leveraging my skills of playing bingo exactly once before for this game that I made up. So I'm gonna be I'm oh, gonna be playing okay. dirty here with my bingo card. You played more bingo than you see in anime. I. <laughs> You've you've played one game of bingo. You have thus played more bingo than <laughs> seen anime. <laughs> well, how do you put it like that? Uh, maybe it wasn't the best idea, but it's all I've got. Okay. See, I put school setting, but no child. So I'm I'm totally just min maxing into adult school setting. Again, that's not how that works, but I see your logic there. You did take the time to um, sticker bomb your bingo card, Mumi. <laughs> that was, was that was important, okay? It's, it's an important part of the strat that I had to have the Mumi in the big O. Uh, okay. she's, she's piloting the big O, and that's going to that's gonna pilot us to victory. Yeah, so my, my play here, uh, if, it should be pretty obvious. I went, I went with the high-risk, high-reward strat, uh, just... Totally down the middle would get you canceled incest, sexism, and racism. I'm looking at the this is the most controversial bingo card I've seen, actually. Good. This will be I hope it doesn't win, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm hoping it does win. So you want to see a show with sexism, racism, incest, and cancelable content. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> With our cards made and everyone ready, I've just got to explain one last thing. See, normally, if this was just me playing, I'd have to finish every anime I spin no matter what. That is the rule I made for myself when I started the anime randomizer. However, because Mumi and Sai are regular people with jobs and families, I did say that we could vote to veto any anime that we really didn't want to watch. Though we're all professionals here, so we all promise to only use the veto very sparingly. But with that in mind, why don't we spin the wheel? So. The very first spin of the anime randomizer is a very sacred thing um, for no other reason than I've decided that it is. Not one piece, not one piece, not one piece. Can I spin the wheel? Okay, I'll let you, I'll let you go here. And go. Oh Let's my go. god. <laughs> Italia, the beautiful world specials. Only four yes. episodes. That is an amazing pick. How long is, are the episodes? Five minutes. This is literally going to take 20 minutes. Let's <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And our first spin is Hetalia, the Beautiful World Specials, the exclusive special episodes packed in with the Blu-ray release of Hetalia, the Beautiful World. The Beautiful World being the fifth season of the TV show Hetalia that came out in 2012. And right off the bat, we made a massive mistake watching this. Oh, one question before we start. Uh, do we prefer dub or sub <laughs> for Hetalia? Uh... Maybe, subbed. maybe, maybe we should alternate. Maybe we should do two episodes sub, two episodes dubbed. Oh, and then we can compare. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Thank you, Commander. Hell yeah! At first, oh my God. What is this? Yeah, yeah. What is this boy? <laughs> His voice makes me want to stick Germany. sticks in my ears. Now, what is Hitalia? You might ask. Well, if you are on anime forums in the late 2000s, you probably already know. This show had one of the largest cult followings online for years, but it's essentially this gag comedy series about personified countries hanging out and reenacting some famous events in history. 
and it's a little bit strange. Two grabs! Give me a copy of that book and do it on the devil! Danke, danke! That book didn't sell at all in Italy and Spain, but for some reason it's selling like schnitzel in Germany. Okay, off the bat. I think Mumi gets the um, racism space. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That well, is, certainly. That is um, not that is not great. Yeah, so the whole show is basically just over the top stereotypes of different countries, with most of the humor either coming from those stereotypes, like the Italy character loving pizza, or it'll kind of make up its own gags for some of the characters, like how the Italy character speaks in this incredibly obnoxious voice. This is for me for the Valentine's Day. I want to die. This is the, the slowest 40 minutes of my life. <laughs> we could, this is combined one episode of normal anime. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Which countries are these? I can't tell without the racist accent. The I, think it's, I think it's America and... Oh. Oh, wow. I wonder what England's feelings on the India character are. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see Hitalia depict the Opium Wars. <laughs> you think the Vietnam character was invited to America's 200th birthday? Does Taiwan exist as a character in this show? That's do you a think? great question. I mean, they're they're invoking the Axis powers because in the ED he's walking around with Germany and, and Japan. Yeah, I don't know if I associate Mussolini with being silly. I, I think yeah, he's a silly guy. That's the one thing Italy was known for during World War II, is being a bit silly. Yeah, yeah. Mussolini is just a guy who likes to hang out, you know, just hang out at gas stations. Yeah, all all the Axis power countries just like to be a little silly. <laughs> just a little goofy. Yeah. Nothing else. No other uh, issues or character traits. <laughs> They're just a bunch of silly guys. <laughs> just a bunch of silly guys. That's the only thing that united them, really. And yeah, that's basically it. You have these really over-the-top caricatures just kind of doing gag comedy bits for five minutes an episode. Germany plans a date with Italy in one. We see America get gifted the Statue of Liberty from France. There's no semblance of plot. I don't get the humor, but it's only 20 minutes, so I can't really complain. So what do we think of Italia, the Beautiful World Blu-ray specials? They certainly were special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it's not really like bad. No, uh, it's it's just clearly not to my preference. On a scale of uh, using my patented review scale from must watch, should watch, can watch, don't watch. Where would you all rate this? Can watch. Can watch. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say don't watch because it's not like yeah, it's not bad. It's not, yeah, especially with how short they are. I feel like you can pretty easily tell if you're going to like it or not. If you if you know you're interested in it, you'll probably know very quickly. And if you're not interested in it one episode, and you're good. You don't need to. <laughs> There's no cultural importance that you're missing out on with Hitalia anymore. All right, what do we want to label our bingo cards from Hitalia? Racism! Uh, comedy. I think I think racism is unequivocal at this point. There is I, I don't think I can argue against that one. <laughs> um I think I was going to go spin-off or sequel because it's both kind of ish. It's yeah. a Blu-ray special of a sequel of a random uh, fifth season. So that's what I'll put. There we go. Hmm. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just having a quick nap after watching all this anime. And you know what helped me? Today's sponsor, Mantis Sleep. Mantis Sleep makes comfortable and breathable sleep masks meant to help you get the rest you deserve. These masks have 100% blackout material, C-shaped cups that don't put any pressure on your eyelids, and a fully adjustable build that can fit anyone, making them the perfect companion for your nightly routine or afternoon nap. I'm someone who really values my sleep, especially having worked jobs that had me up pretty late. So I really agree with Manta's pro nap movement. They know that healthy sleep is non-negotiable and that a good nap can be the difference between a bad day and a great one. I also love the variety of masks they have available. Cool, steam, silk, weighted. The one that I have even has Bluetooth speakers built in so you can listen to your favorite music or podcasts while you drift off. Whatever your sleep needs may be, Manta has you covered. 
So why don't you get yourself a Manta sleep mask today? Just head to the description down below or use my code for 10% off your order. That's 10% off using the link in the description down below. Thank you to Manta Sleep for sponsoring the video. The Sai get the spin this time? Yeah, so Mumi did last time. Now it's Sai's turn to take responsibility for whatever we watch. Give me a countdown. All right. Three, two, one, spin. Happy New Year! That's not even. It's 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 March right now. What hell, Target. The, what the hell? Horror sci-fi rated seventeen plus. SS hell yeah! Psycho horror animation. Oh my god! This seems the opposite of what Italia was. Does this have a four point five nine? Oh my god! I'm just seeing the score. <laughs> hell, Target. What a sick name for an anime. This is a 50 minute science fiction psycho horror animation, whatever that means, made in 1987. And that's about all I've got for interesting info about this because it's a fairly obscure little movie. It was made by a bunch of working sci-fi animators at a studio that hasn't made anything else since. The biggest name that's attached to this is Shigemi Ikeda as art director because he's also been art director for every other anime in existence. One Punch Man, Overlord, MHA, Inuyasha, Afro Samurai, Mysterious Girlfriend X, a whole bunch of other stuff. But with just how much stuff he's been attached to, I'm not really surprised to see his name on this random OVA. What I was surprised to see was anything, because the quality of this VHS short we were watching was absolutely terrible. What, I can't see a thing. <laughs> They're just in a void. <laughs> oh, no. they look what at? is this? Can you turn on the lights? Oh! Oh, but... <laughs> Okay, thank you. So the opening of this OVA is... Well, it's basically just Alien. Literally the plot of every sci-fi horror since Alien. This ragtag space crew gets a distress signal from the abandoned planet of Inferno 2, and they go to investigate it. Then they get attacked by monsters. But unlike Alien, things start getting a little weird. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> they just Wait. casually dropped that magic is real? Is magic? What? Alright, Hell Target, you got me interested now. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that just a griffin? That's just a gargoyle or something. The mythical creature. The Santa Claus? <laughs> oh my god. You're on the naughty list this year. Welcome to hell. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as they get on the planet, which I'll be referring to as Hell Planet from here on out, the creatures that attack this crew aren't just aliens or demons or something, but like random mythical creatures. We were convinced for like the first half of this that they had the powers of Pennywise from It and could take the form of your greatest fear. Like how one of them takes the form of this Santa Claus motherfucker to kill the pilot because he had bad memories of Russian soldiers chasing him in the snow. But at some point they just start turning into completely random shit, so I have no idea. Is that a Valkyrie? Oh. <laughs> Holy f Oh my god, they're fucked what? now. <laughs> what? What? I <laughs> guess uh, I too have a fear. Is the of galaxy infinity. itself going to kill what? An owl? What? <laughs> a bird god? <laughs> Why are they having a psychic battle? Honestly, by the point that Valkyries and magic bird gods start showing up, I have no idea what's happening. And Hell Target doesn't really either. It is just scenes of people dying to these mythical creatures one after the other for like 20 minutes with, might I add, some of the most brutal gore I've ever seen. Holy shit. That was kind of metal. Oh my Whoa. fucking god. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, I think he's fine. <laughs> I like how it showed up as an elaborate Santa Claus hallucination for the one guy and then just melted the other one with acid. <laughs> <laughs> just gave up. Clearly the other guy was just fearless. He just only had trauma to work off of. <laughs> he was afraid of being melted alive by acid. <laughs> <laughs> 
But all of the crazy creatures don't even come close to how insane this gets, because I can't even begin to make sense of the last act. The entire crew is dead, it's just our male protagonist and his love interest, and then... I'll just show you. <laughs> <laughs> Sexism, check. Let's go. Hysterical woman. <laughs> she needs what, the touch of a man. Right now? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> they were literally just like, what the fuck? Everybody's got time for sex on <laughs> Hellplay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so wait, wait, did that actually They happen? actually just did have sex right <laughs> after rescuing her. Oh, after finding out everyone is dead. <laughs> yeah, I think you get that sexism square nice and... Yep. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Louie's <laughs> dying. Oh, I think we broke him. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck no! It's not the owl. Oh no, the fucking owl again. Member of Kitada to Shoyi, Chimeo Nozoki, Zain Shibo, Ijo. Did she just die? Wait, what? She... Yeah, she's just dead. Oh, she lost the psychic battle against the owl. Yeah. Now let's see what we can fucking put on our bingo cards, I guess. Yeah. So I have a flashback sequence. Uh, I don't think I have flashback on my bingo card, uh, but I do have sexism on my bingo card. And <laughs> if the hard cut to, you know, comforting a hysterical woman with your dick is anything to go by, I think sexism is on the cards. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I'd agree. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd give that to you. <laughs> Let's fucking go. This is like the bottom 10,000 on my anime list. So I'm going to go with that one. What do you say? There's magic. In it? I. She does <laughs> literally say her grandmother was a sorceress who gave her a magic pendant that let her fight a psychic battle against a god of owls. So yeah. I, if that's not magic, I don't know what is. The captain just got fucking lampooned by a fucking Valkyrie skeleton Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, there was again the that was weird metal owl fuck. thing. Weird owl thing, someone getting melted with acid. This did have zombie. amazing gore. Um, I'll give it that much. That that I yeah. did like looking at people spilling blood everywhere. The weird sex, like the almost seemingly studio mandated sex scene was very strange. That was, <laughs> that was the best part. It's, right, <laughs> it's so fucking jarring how it's just right. like, it's hard get cuts. a hold of yourself. Yeah, like, and I, just, like, I thought it was like a flashback or something. No, it's just the continuation of the plot. Yeah, it's like, oh, everyone died. Time to fuck. <laughs> He's just like, get a hold of yourself and just immediately cuts to them as having sex. It's like, what <laughs> the fuck? This is the most inappropriate time for this. What are you doing? It's, it's above... It might be above a can watch for me. I would say someone should watch this because it is insane. Yeah. I, I don't know. I want to say can because like I feel like there are probably better things, but this is also <laughs> kind of amazing. So it's it like is. maybe you should. I don't know. What about you, Sai? You're the tiebreaker. It's between a, a can and a should. Um, I'd say should. Why not? It's off the beaten path. It's Let's weird. go. It's it's uh, it's interesting enough that I would say it's memorable. Yeah, watch watch in a group. It's 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 yes. fun in a group. Bust out the popcorn. Have yourself a, a nice time. Turn the brightness on your monitor up as high as possible. <laughs> turn the turn the gamma up. <laughs> <sighs> All right, what are we watching next? My turn to spin the wheel. I'm now responsible for whatever we get. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. No. Hey, it's only 12 minutes per episode. 12 minutes per episode. 26 episodes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Uh, um, 
Unknown, none found, none found, none found. Wait, wait, oh no, it's, it's, wait, hold on, it, it's on YouTube, Is are there subs? There are no subs. God damn it. So what, what happens in this scenario? So we have, I have said that if we do get something that is absolutely atrocious, we can veto it. We just don't get any bingo spaces from it. I'm willing to accept that because, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's subbed. I don't want to watch all this just <laughs> in Korean raw. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to skip this. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to, I'll spin again. All right, do better this time. Yeah, spin number two, not hopefully an unsubbed Korean kids show. Let's go. Something better, please. Oh my god. Let's go! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck. Is this- well, wait, is th this- This is subbed! Um, I have it! This is oh. subbed! <laughs> 52 episodes. Yeah, it looks, it's a world masterpiece theater, isn't it? I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just a lot of show to watch. Yeah, it'll go by quick. Do you guys ever think about like where your life went wrong? No. Oh. <sighs> the Wonderful Adventures of Niels. This is a TV anime made in 1980 that's based on the novel of the same name by Swedish author Selma Lagerlöf. The novel originally came out in 1906 and became a big cultural hit in Sweden. If you're Swedish, you might have actually read it already, because it was used to teach children about geography and wildlife for quite a while. The book actually got Selma Lagerlöf the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1909, the first award of its kind given to a woman. And even if you're not Swedish, this show might still be familiar to you, because this anime was the first ever production by Studio Piero. Directed by Hisayuki Toriyumi with Mamoru Oshii humming several episodes before they were given the lead on Yurisai Yatsura. And Niels ended up getting broadcast and dubbed in over 25 different countries meaning if you're old enough, you might have seen it as a kid and had no idea it was anime. It is anime though, and it's 52 fucking full-length episodes, and we had to watch all of them. This is just Dennis the Menace. Yeah, this kid's like a real just asshole. I didn't know what to expect out of this show, but I didn't expect for this kid to be such an asshole. Yeah. We're starting very low. Very low point for this kid, just picking fights with random farm animals. Should uh for this for this segment of the video, Lex, you should uh should shoot PewDiePie a, like a DM on Twitter and ask him if he's seen this show. <laughs> is this what life is like in Sweden? <laughs> is this, yeah, ask is this how your childhood was. <laughs> so the story of the show is very simple. Really, most of the plot happens in the first episode. We meet our protagonist, Niels. He's a little asshole who terrorizes farm animals, including his pet hamster, Carrot. And one day, Niels is visited by a magical creature called a Tomte that shrinks Niels and Carrot down to make him learn a lesson. Oh my god, what the? You just oh, left no, that no. out there? <laughs> oh, look at him go. Oh no. Just was... Niels, don't do it. Me when I watch a, the Weeb Crew video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just wakes up the hamsters pointing a gun. <laughs> what? Is that a fucking Keebler elf? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get his ass. <laughs> Revenge. Get fucked up. Oh, they did shrink him. Oh, and the hamster. What did he do? The entire rest of the show is then Niels learning his lesson by going on a magical adventure to find the Tomte. An adventure where he mostly teams up with a goose from his farm named Morton to migrate north to Lapland, this magical Swedish bird paradise. And that's... that's it. That's the entire show. Doesn't Sweden have some sort of fucked up, like, Lindenberry or something? Maybe? You're Swedish, leave a comment. <laughs> Cutie Pie, if you're watching this, we'd love to have you on to watch some cool anime. Come on, the po come on our podcast, too. <laughs> Everyone in the comments, at PewDiePie. 
<laughs> Sweden just kind of looks like this all over the place. Yeah, that is true. PewDiePie, if you're watching this, is this what Sweden looks like? <laughs> Where is Lapland? I don't know. PewDiePie, if you're watching, can you let us know where Lapland... Oh, it's in Finland. I... There is literally no more plot that I can give to you. Every episode is Niels, this flock of geese, and his pet hamster exploring a different part of Sweden and talking to the wildlife. The book that the anime was based on was sort of a fantastical tourist guide of Sweden, with a heavy focus on teaching the different parts of the country that Niels visits, and all the animals that live there. But watching that in anime form is incredibly slow and repetitive, to the point that we spent basically the entire 26 hours that we watched this just trying to stay sane. Do you know why they're, uh, when they do those arrow formations, that uh, one side's longer than the other? I feel like I knew that at one point, but I forgot. It's because there's more birds on that side. That makes sense. Did you know that a picture of Niels Horgerson on the back of a goose was printed on the reverse side of the Swedish $20 bill? Really? It's that popular? Yeah. That's crazy. Huh. Pity Pie, if you're watching this, can you uh, show a $20 bill on screen right now? See, the person we have on our $20 bill committed ethnic cleansing. <laughs> oh, no. The smoke monster from Lost. Niels, you're still on the island, Niels. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that noise? La 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 <laughs> also, at some point, Niels and Morton and the gang start getting chased by a fox named Rex, who sort of becomes the main villain of the show, uh, kinda. And spoiler alert, if you decide to watch Niels and you see him in the next episode preview, you can just skip that episode. He does absolutely nothing but chase Niels around and then plot revenge over and over and over again. <laughs> Oh, but the fucking Swiper Fox. Swiper no swiping. This fox has ran like across country at this point, right? For like one flock of birds. I'm not again. <laughs> oh my ah, god! Music. <laughs> I'm going insane. Oh. How many chase sequences has there been this episode? At least three or four. It all felt like 20 minutes. Wait, each. this has only been. I thought, wait, I thought this, was, this has only been one episode. Oh, God. This is one episode. Just shoot him! Kill his fuck. Yes! Kill him! Oh, my God, Rex is back! Ah. <sighs> well. Gonna be one of those episodes. When I have a nap, I'll see you all in 20. <laughs> well, he's really like Sisyphus. One must imagine Rex happy. Yeah. I'm not happy when Rex is on screen. Yeah, it's hard to, for me to imagine Rex happy when I associate Rex with being bored as fuck. Being bored. Now, I do admit we were a little mean to Rex, but again, keep in mind we were binging 50 episodes, and seeing him chase this small child around for at least 20 of them, I think that would drive anyone insane. I don't even have any coherent clips to show you past episode 30, because we just completely lost our minds. <laughs> okay, uh, Viper from Kung Fu Panda, smash your pass. <laughs> I think most of the Kung Fu Panda characters are a, a smash for me. Mm -hmm. They have very nice designs. The Bible says the sun, that Sunday is the low, uh, you know the day of rest. This is all while he's cooking rice, by the way. He's just like rambling on about. Oh my god! Sorry, I was just I was watching someone be murdered. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, they just go to like a part of like Sweden or whatever, Switzerland, wherever the fuck we are. It is it's Sweden because PewDiePie. Remember. Oh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, PewDiePie. PewDiePie, if you're yeah, watching, yeah. I'm sorry about that. He's editing it. <laughs> PewDiePie, cut that. 
Oh my god, we're in Lapland. We did it! Yeah. Thank <laughs> fucking god. PewDiePie, put up some uh, fireworks on screen. But that isn't to say there aren't some good episodes in here. In fact, there are quite a few that I would recommend. My favorite is probably episode 7, which is actually a two-parter involving a bunch of rats that attack Niels in a castle. It's basically just this show's version of the Pied Piper story, and we'll all just show the clip. Yeah. Oh, the peas? Peas? What? What is what is happening right now? Oh, honey, don't open the closet. We keep the peas in there. <laughs> How are there this many peas? <laughs> oh my god, this was one Whoa. room. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell is happening? Oh, now what? he knows. <laughs> what? what? There are no holes in that! Is squeeze? <laughs> That's a horn. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. They didn't even what? put holes on it. <laughs> what? It's like his ocarina. It is, yeah. Wait, wait! It can make him move against his will. What? Oh my! <laughs> oh no! Don't do Jesus it, Nils. Christ, Nils. Don't make him kill himself. What the fuck? In the arms of the angel. 50, 52 episodes later, what did we think of Niels? Uh, Interesting. It's all right. <laughs> I don't hate it. I have, I mean, there are problems. I don't, but I don't hate it really. It's not a bad show. No. No. Well, I no. would say that there's a pretty good show in here. If you just cut it down to like 12, even 24 episodes, honestly, I still think it'd be a pretty good show. Yeah. It also doesn't help that we were watching it for this thing. <laughs> yeah. Just this, is, this is a it. show that you probably should just be watching once a week. Just yeah. Yeah. Definitely not like blasting through it five episodes a day like us. Right. Because, like, yeah. as, as bare core, it's basically, like, this kid that, like, d takes things for granted. Um, he gets punished by the fucking Tom Tay, where he's literally humbled. Like, he's made closer to the ground, humbled. Uh, he has to then look at life from, like, a new perspective. And it gives him a new outlook on life kind of thing. Like, that's the core of the show, essentially. So, like, when you stretch it out to 50 episodes, you... I feel like this fails in that because so much of it is just like <laughs> Rex is trying to eat the geese again <laughs> just yeah, like oh really god with that I feel like this is probably something where it would make more sense if we did get more of like a, like Neil's inner monologue basically like what are his thoughts on what's going on mm. yeah and I feel like that's what the book is like I haven't read the book and I don't want to just for this video but like <laughs> I feel yeah. like it'd be interesting to see how closely this adapted it or like what it had to change obviously to turn it from a book into an anime we haven't talked about Rex <laughs> Rex I don't want to talk about Rex he shows up in like, I think the first five episodes. Yeah, least. very early on. And then all of his schemes, like we talked about it earlier, like there's like, you can kind of compare him to Wiley e. Coyote as like this kind of pathetic character that's just like always trying to kill this animal and fails. But Wiley e. Coyote is interesting because he comes up with elaborate schemes that allow for comedy and like an interesting set piece. Whereas Rex is just, I'm going to chase down Niels <laughs> every time without fail. I would say definitely, I feel like your mileage is going to vary depending on how much you like the premise. Like mm -hmm. if you're, yeah. if you're more attached to like this idea of like going on a, a sweeping adventure and flying through the sky and kind of getting just to see like the landscape and some notable landmarks here and there of like Norway or Sweden, <laughs> remember in Norway now. Like, I, I, this is, like, fine. Like, if you are interested in it and you feel like you want to take a look at it, you can watch it. It's a solid can watch. Yeah. And I would say very, like, it could go up a level depending on how you want to watch it. Like, again, if you just want, like, a vibes-based show, this is probably pretty good if you're interested in the premise. Um, if you're someone who just wants to watch an anime for, like, like you would watch a 12-episode show, I'm just going to watch yeah. it for the plot and consume all of the, like, interesting details. 
This doesn't have that much of it. It's it's it has about as much detail and plot as a 12 episode show just stretched out to 50 episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to justify that. Yeah. So it's a can watch. You can watch it. Go check it out if you think it's interesting. Uh, PewDiePie, if you're watching this, uh, comment down below what you'd give it. Uh, <laughs> what do we put on our bingo cards? Oh, yeah. The bingo. It's uh, been so I fucking forgot. long. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot about the, I forgot about the bingo conceit of this video. Well, Mumi immediately has birds flying. That's uh, oh, oh, <laughs> that's that probably mean, the strongest. This can, is in fact the birds flying anime. Yeah. Can, can this get you canceled? No. This is I the mean, no. least cancelable show I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, I I think I just got to go with birds flying for the meme. Birds flying. Um, Cross our fingers. I can get cicadas beatboxing. <laughs> hopefully, in the same vein, um, child is just a really easy pick. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, with you. I could go with child, but never I feel has like... there been a stronger child in an anime <laughs> to <laughs> pick. I feel like looking at my looking at my bingo card though. I feel like Cell Animated for me is is a better pick. This was Cell Animated. It did have some nice Cell animation. We didn't really talk about there how is. it looked that yeah. much. It is pretty good looking for like a show that's like late seventies production type of type yeah. of vibe. <sighs> Man, I can't believe Niels is over. That's crazy. We learned a lot about Sweden and its geography and the yeah, yeah. wildlife of. The country i don't know how you convinced pewdiepie to edit that entire section honestly i i got my ways i got my connections Mumi's turn again count us in <laughs> all right i'm uh i'm grabbing grabbing the big wheel and we're spinning right, let's go what do we get okay ah! <laughs> joito Mugang legend all right Mumi, you, you fucked up last time you get another chance <laughs> All right, all right. Roll. Gotta get my good luck going. All right. And, and, and roll. You're rubbing your dick right now. What? <laughs> what? Oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. We want ten time. Why not? Uh, I may have actually seen this one. My Lady is Obsessed with Sex is a two-episode hentai OVA made by T-Rex and produced by Pink Pineapple. It's based on an arrow manga by Boshi, who is most famous for creating Futabu, if you know you know, and the production behind it is pretty stacked. Considering T-Rex is responsible for stuff like Masterpiece the Animation and Joshi Luck, the director Tatsumi also directed Peter Grill, Dropout, and Felipure, and the voice cast has also voiced the girls of Itadaki Saiki, Euphoria, and a bunch of other stuff. If you were going to recommend a safe, vanilla, high-production anime just from the cover, this would be it. Does that mean I want to watch it on video with two other people? No, not at all. <laughs> Listen, I actually told Mumi and Sai that just for the sake of this video, if they wanted, we could watch this hentai separately on our own time and then get together at the end like a book club to talk about it. Because I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable and I respect if they didn't feel like watching this together. So this hentai is very straightforward. You've got two sisters who are both upper class noblewomen. One of them has a boyfriend, the other has a butler that she treats like a boyfriend, and the whole show is just the two of them doing stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot this was porn. Yeah, they're just gonna be fucking most of the time. Yeah, it's gonna be like 10 minutes of this. I mean, they got some interesting camera angles going on, if we're being oh, real. Yeah. yeah, so far the animation is better than I would have thought. Yeah. We're not really given any plot outside of the premise. This is two full-length episodes, but I don't remember anyone's names. It is mostly just sex scenes. The only characters that were vaguely memorable were the One Sister's twin maids, and that's only because they were mostly used for comic relief. <laughs> Oh, she's got moral support. <laughs> That's awesome. Someone needs to take this and make a Slipknot AMV. <laughs> Someone needs to make a Limp Biscuit AMV. Yeah, yeah. Just one of those days. <laughs> Just one of those days. <laughs> Who even are these people? Oh, there you go. There's no, the they're gonna do it. There we go. Hooray! Yes. Yes. Incest acquired. 
But honestly, that's all I can tell you. It's just a lot of different scenes between these noble ladies and their boy toys. No plot, no storyline, just vignettes. Most of which involve a swimsuit for some reason, even when the protagonist is sick in bed. Classic, classic. Wait, what the fuck was that? I don't know. That was a gargoyle. <laughs> was, that a go was that a goddamn gargoyle of a fucking crocodile like a with a trident? <laughs> Hold like on. an alligator. Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go. Tamaki. <laughs> Oh, don't say you love her. Not during sex. That's the worst time, dude. You don't even know each other. Who are you people? I want to see, like, you know how every once in a while, like, a TV network will make, like, a documentary about, like, a mangaka or something? And it's just, like, yeah. that's where you see all the clips of Miyazaki or, like, any of the animators where they're just, like, smoking cigarettes, like, fucking, I hate my life. I want to see, yeah. like, a hentai Foley artist. It's like, <laughs> oh, I gotta clock in and mash a bowl of spaghetti together, like, slap two oranges <laughs> to try and get the sound right. You don't want, like, a hot doctor to be like, what the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> He just puke in his oh, mouth. Oh god! What? Oh. <laughs> it's the scene from Chainsaw Man all over again. What the fuck is that? That's pretty good. I feel like they're just gaslighting this guy. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that'd be fun. Moving him to different parts of the house. But well, they are gas. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's, that's a pretty awesome. good thing. <laughs> Yeah, they moved in an entire prop set of a doctor's office to move him in to gaslight him into thinking it was a dream so they could have a four-way with him. And then he fell asleep and they moved the set out on, like, moving trucks. This is kind of fucked. Like, what the fuck? What was the <laughs> point in that? That's like one of those pranks where, like, someone goes into, like, a public urinal or whatever, like one of those outhouses, <laughs> and they, like, build, like, an office around it. This, this hentai that we just all watched together. Do we feel better for having seen it? Is the real question. Oh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I feel good. You feel pretty good? <laughs> yeah. Mumi? Uh, good. I'm indifferent. Okay. Mumi, I think, is the, the most negative out of all of us, because I'm fine with this. I mean, it's just, it's a pretty standard hentai, to be honest. Like True. Uh, I would say production yeah. values are a little bit higher than average. I had a lot of nice, like, different camera angles. Uh, there wasn't a lot of, like, super repetitive animation. Mm -mm. Not a lot of, like, limited, like frame where it just fucking pans over like a single shot like yeah a lot of i mean yeah does. obviously you're gonna have a little bit of those but it wasn't like a lot no they fully animated like a lot of it surprising about i'm not sure what the marketing i'm not sure this is like geared toward because it's like Very broad yeah. yeah yeah it's just like oh ojo samas and then swimsuits and then fever dream maids. doctors and maids it was like what what's happening i don't know who this is for yeah, it doesn't ever get too deep. Even the swimsuit stuff, which is probably the yeah. most prominent thing, it doesn't like do a lot with it. No. They just kind of like incorporate it just to like throw it in there. And then the rest of it's just vanilla sex with a swimsuit on top. I don't know. I give us like a can watch. Maybe a should watch, but probably a can because there's not like. What is, what is the ranks as again? Can, should, can, don't? Can, should, must, don't. Yeah, I'm I mean, giving it can. a can. Yeah. Yeah, this was okay. It was solidly okay. okay. Uh, the real question is, what do we put on our bingo cards? Uh, incest. Incest all, off the bat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, this was made in the 2010s. 2010s. Yeah, that's a good one. Actually, no. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Digi Paint. I'm gonna go with Digi Paint because then I can still get three in a row. But then I also have two in a row. I will do strange colored hair because they did have purple hair. And I think that's a safe bet. Actually, never mind. Scratch that. I'm going to go Yuri. This did have Yuri. It did. They, they do have lesbian sex with each other. But uh, yeah, so I don't even have three in a row because I, I went off axis immediately. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in last place. Okay, so Mumi went last time and picked us a hentai. Yes. Uh, do You're you welcome. think you can do any better, Sai? What are we hoping for? Hoping for creamy lemon. <laughs> oh. That would be interesting. That would be a crazy shot to call. I mean, it would get you canceled. Um, all right, Sai, count me down. All right. Three, two, one. Speed. What are we going to get? What the oh. Fuck? All right. Oh, yeah. Yan Kama. Yan Kama. Yan Cat bites mouse ONA from 2022. It's like 12 minutes. 12 minutes total. Nyan Kamuchu, Cat bites mouse. This is a six episode ONA totaling two minutes each, hosted entirely on YouTube. And it's 
a series of shorts that focus on spreading awareness of periodontal disease. So why is he tied up? Is he going to die? I don't know. I don't know what's going on or who these people are. What the fuck? What? <laughs> periodontology? Well, can I get what? you canceled? What? Wait, wait, what? wait, what is periodontology? I don't know. I, hold on. Hold on. We have is it to cancelable specialty of dentistry that studies the supporting structures of teeth. So this is basically just one big dentistry PSA, which is not the weirdest thing that I've gotten on my anime list. It's entirely focused on this mouse that gets captured by a cat every video and scares the cat into letting him go because if the cat eats him, their teeth might rot. And that's it. There's no subs for this other than the terrible auto-generated YouTube ones, so we didn't get a lot out of this. The only possible thing of note is that most of the characters are played by famous voice actors. Yeah, Natsuki Hane plays like three characters. They're uh, Tanjiro in Demon Slayer, Ken Kaneki in Tokyo Ghoul, and Kusei Araima in July and April. Interesting. So they got a very famous voice actor. They also got Tetsuya Kuroko from Kuroko's Basketball and Giorno Giovanna from JoJo's. Hey, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so silly. Uh, what did we think of uh, Nyan Kamuchu? I think uh, I don't speak Japanese. Neither does YouTube, apparently. Because <laughs> that shit was incomprehensible. It was short. It was very short. Literally 12 minutes total. Uh, did we get anything out of it? <laughs> No, so I think, okay, I think the problem is like, this is just like your standard, like air something as a bumper kind of thing you see on right. TV. Yeah. yeah. Obviously this was on YouTube. I don't know if it got aired on TV, but it's definitely just commercial. Yeah. It's, it's a fine concept. I feel like people, when they think about shorts like this, they, this is the kind of thing that they're thinking about, which is kind of a shame because there are a lot of really like good TV shorts. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is fine yeah it's, it's not bad it's not terrible uh give this a probably a don't watch just because there's nothing you get out of it it's not bad but there's there's no reason to watch this unless you really like uh small the no members shows on my anime list because this has less than 80 members <laughs> as we're watching this or or you're like like a like a natsuki hanai completionist yeah. yeah you, you just love Demon Slayer so much. You need to yeah. consume everything that Tanjiro's ever been in. Yeah, I'm surprised they aren't even listed. This seems like something someone would yeah, put the voice yeah. actor for. Someone put uh someone put Natsuki in the characters and voice actor section, please, if you're watching this. Yeah. PewDiePie, if you're watching this and you have a mal profile, <laughs> we're bringing him back for this one. <laughs> but what are we picking for a bingo card? Uh, um I'm gonna go with no subs. All right, size got no subs. Mumi, what about you? What are you filling out? I think I think I'll go I think I'll go with the cute pet because she's a cute discord kitten. <laughs> oh no, okay. I'd go under 10 minutes, but with the last one I didn't pick strange colored hair. I went yaoi or yuri. So under 10 minutes is no longer on my line. <laughs> yeah, I'll go under 10 minutes. I'm I'm in dead last in my own show. Can you believe it? Uh 3 2 1, let's go. You spin me right round. What oh. the fuck? All right. Um, Terrarium Adventure. I'm a zillionaire in a gotcha game. What the hey fuck? Yo. Well, it looked good, and there's zero subtitles, zero anything. So, well, the first episode is on YouTube, which is just like a marketing thing, but I don't want right. to have to create an account in South Korea and then have a South Korean mobile phone number. So, I guess I will spin again since my last one didn't work. Sorry about that. Spin. Creamy lemon. Creamy lemon. Odd Taxi uh, picture drama. Let's all go. Right. Odd Taxi, the critically acclaimed anime series. Top 100 on Mal and consistently called the best anime of the 2020s. And a show I have not seen at all. And not even one episode. And we spun the random Blu-ray extra picture drama. What is a picture drama? 
Well, it's a type of animated special where the animators take a break and just put two or more characters in a room together and have them stand still and talk to each other for a couple minutes. These have incredibly limited animation and sort of blend anime and audio dramas into one thing, which is a cheap way for a series to put out extra content. It's also uh, really fucking boring to watch if you have no idea who any of these characters are. Is this the whole thing? Yes. Yes. Oh. Wow, Odd Taxi sucks. I, I have nothing else to say about this. I had no idea what was going on the entire time. Uh, go watch Odd Taxi. I don't know. Are we not going to talk about the Odd Taxi drama? Oh yeah, let's talk about Odd Taxi. What did we think of Odd Taxi picture drama? <laughs> it was fine. Yeah, it was the monogatari of Odd Taxi. <laughs> it was. It was kind of reminding me of, like monogatari, especially because like they do like the fucking monogatari podcast thing, and I had like that kind of energy to it. Um, it's fine. I mean, if you've seen Odd Taxi, you can watch it. If you haven't, I don't know why you would. Yeah, it's the Blu-ray release. It's just a little extra thing for Odd Taxi fans. So yeah. in that situation, I'd say it's a can watch. I would say it's a can watch. Certainly can watch it. Very fair. Wouldn't put it in don't. Wouldn't put it in should. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just advise against it, really. It doesn't even really spoil the show at all. It has nothing to do. I don't understand any more about Odd Taxi than <laughs> when I started it. So There wasn't even any taxis. What the fuck? And for bingo, I I literally have no other option but to put bottom 10,000 on Mal, even though it's completely disconnected from any line that I've been building so far. It's the only thing that it qualifies for, I think. I've got under 10 minutes up there in the top left corner. Which puts you clearly in the lead <laughs> with, with the most. And Mumi put down, what'd you put down? What's your bingo? Well, I guess I only have 20s or... Copyright, copyright violation because the blue bull in the corner <laughs> i guess i go with copyright violation just to make a somewhat of a t Sh sure yeah boomy count us down what are you all right all right and, and, and go what are you gonna get oh oh, oh, oh no, no. Fuck! No, veto! 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 We're not doing another one of these fucking <laughs> Are things. Are you fucking kidding me? Little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> another like world. It this sounds a fuck like a dog. fucking beggar. I don't know what y'all yeah. are talking world about. World masterpiece theater type thing. You've got to be fucking shitting me, dude. Oh my god. No. I vote to veto. Even as much as I like Scooby Doo here, this is I can't I, watch I, this. I second that. We blew, we, we How can we you veto the prequel to Shrek, the story of <laughs> Lord Farquaad and his dog? Yeah, no, veto. Veto. Fuck that. <sighs> Mumi, uh, try again. <laughs> All right, let's 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 get a whirl. Let's spit. What are we gonna get? Something good. <laughs> Hot babe. Hot babe, let's go. Fuck? It's a music oh video. Oh my god. Music video for Hot Babe. Can that get you canceled? Uh, depends on how hot this babe is. So one narrow miss on another 40 episode kids fantasy show later, we spin Hot Babe, a music video by K-pop group Super Junior DNE, which is a subset of Super Junior, another K-pop group because everything on this wheel is a fucking spin-off somehow. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're just gonna see us skip straight to the discussion, because I'd rather not get my channel deleted by a Korean legal team. Go check out the Patreon to see our reactions to the song, as well as all the hentai stuff uncensored. That was neat. That was pretty cool. Hot babe. What do we, what do we think? Those are cool, hot. That was the worst. I, you're so hot, babe. Is such bad, such a bad chorus. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the song is much to write home about. The uh, the uh, the music video itself looked pretty nice, though it was also kind of repetitive as well. Yeah, yeah. they only had like twelve cool cuts, and then yeah, they ran through them pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I give that a can watch. That was yeah, certainly yeah. a song. <laughs> Did knock my socks off so much as a music video to be like, oh yeah, you should probably check this out. It's pretty dope. That is yeah. something you can definitely watch. It's on YouTube. 
Oh yeah, what are we putting for our bingos for a hot day? Uh, I'm I'm going for uh, 2010s. Does that put you at? Uh, are you? Do you have any four in a row now? Yep, I got a four in a row now. I just need something from the 2000s. Let's go, Moomy. Uh, this would get you canceled. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> It's very vanilla. I guess if you said this to a person in real life, if you said the lyrics to the song, but that's not how that works. Was that a bachelor girl anime? Nope. Th- no. There is singing and dancing. There is singing there and is dancing. Singing and dancing. I I think that's literally the only thing I can choose. Yeah. Also, do you have school setting twice? Wait. Yeah, you do. Have you had school setting twice this entire time? What the fuck? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe? God fucking damn. It's gonna be showing up on screen the entire video, and <laughs> someone's gonna comment that, like, frame one. What is school setting on there twice? Fuck. God damn it. This, this whole video is falling apart. You're doing singing and dancing? Okay. That's all I can do. Oh, okay. God. They go to school and hot babe. Uh, what do I even have that I could fill out? I there's nothing. Uh, would this count as fan service? No. Yeah, not really. Because they shake a butt in it. Oh. I don't know. If this is an OP for anything, but yeah, it was I feel a like it's in the spirit of bingo for you to just get nothing sometimes. Sai, your turn to spin, yes. please. Something that'll end this quickly. Let's go. 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 Roll that shit. Let's see what we get. Who are you impersonating? No one. Oh my god. All right. Valkyrie Drive Mermaid Specials. <laughs> Two minutes an episode, six episodes. This is as long as the cat dentist ads. Yes. Let's go. Valkyrie Drive Mermaid Blu ray specials. I don't know what it is today with the wheel and Blu ray extras, but these are mini OVAs packed in with the release of Valkyrie Drive Mermaid, a show that none of us have seen. Do I want to see it after seeing the specials, though? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Check this shit out. No. Something you need to. Oh God, no! I'm sorry. Fix this this right now. I'm sorry. I didn't know it had. I didn't know it had. I didn't know. Oh Jesus Christ! (laughs) I think this this might be cancelable offense. (laughs) No, I'm sure she's 18. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is somehow more horny than the um, actual hentai that we saw. This is actually, yeah. That Straight was actually up. amazing. What the fuck? So, the plot of Valkyrie Drive Mermaid, as far as I'm aware, is that we have our main character, Mamari, who gets sent to Mermaid Island, which is full of evil, horny women. And Memory has to fight these evil horny women using her superpowers, which are only unlocked by being incredibly aroused. I don't think you could write anything more perfect for a Yuri Echi show if you tried. Let's see if we have anywhere to go from here. (laughs) From fingering two minutes in. Yeah. Alrighty. (laughs) Inverted nipples. Inverted nipples. Why does it look like the thing that they use to like start the eclipse in Berserk? No, I, was, I was thinking whips, more like it looks eating like um, Audrey 2 from it Little does, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. All right, I'm not that into nipples. I don't think they work like that. This show is, of course, animated by ARMS, who made Mezzoforte, Queen's Blade, Elfin Lead, and every other etchy show you could think of, including Eyes Pure, for those of you who have seen the first episode of this series. And the director, Haraku Kaneko, has also directed Seikon no Quasar, and worked on a bunch of other horny stuff. So really, we're just all in on lewdness. And that's just the main show, because these OVA specials are uncensored, extra etchy scenes of the main characters, basically just having lesbian sex for 12 minutes. It's amazing. This is not how I remember Hatsune Miku being. (laughs) Arcane looks a little different this time around. Oh, (laughs) what happened to Jinx here? But this was awesome. Valkyrie Drive Mermaid specials. I'm I'm giving that a should watch already. That shit was peak. Yeah, I, was, I, I would say I would say a, a must watch if you watch the anime. Yeah, that was amazing. It makes me want to watch the anime. It's way better than the hentai that we saw. It really is. Yeah, I would rather watch that even if it is much shorter. But it's a lot more. But it's a lot more densely packed as a result. 
and it appeals to like a specific i don't give a shit about nipples but if you're into that that this is like a must absolutely i mean the hyperfixation like it focuses on it to a degree where you can understand like oh so this is what they find erotic about this. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I said should watch. Sai said must if you <laughs> watch the anime. Mumi, do you have any thoughts? What are you, what's your rating? Um, I think this is a great, somehow a great introduction. It definitely makes yeah, you want to watch it. I want to watch the it anime. Made me want to watch the show. Yeah. I feel like I have to go with should just because we've given them so much that could, and this was so much better than all those. Yeah, yeah. this was one of the best ones so far, by far. Um. I, I don't think it's going to appeal to everybody, so it's weird saying you should watch it, but... Uh, a caveat. You know what you're getting into. Right. And I would say for most people, because again, it's like you watch that first episode for like two minutes, and you know if you're into that or not, right? Yeah. So I say you should at least check it out. Like, you should start it. Would this get you canceled? This seems like it was kind of cancelable at the beginning, right? They did look young, too, especially the main girl in the first one, who I think is the main character, because she's on the poster. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she, she looks if, really young. She looks like an actual teenager. The blonde lady looks like thirty-five, so I don't fucking care. <laughs> but like, Hatsune <laughs> really? Miku in that last episode seemed like they were molesting that uh, woman. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, so I, I would say you probably could put a would get you canceled. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fan service. True. This is the most fan service shit that I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Uh, I think I did. I have fan service on my bingo card. I will go with fan service just because this is this is the most fan servicey thing. I am like I have not even I've barely a three in the row. It's that's nuts. My turn to spin. We've gotten so much good shit already. Um, I just want this to be over <laughs> so <laughs> we can get a. I'm I'm hoping one of you wins with a with a magical girl or a 2000s show or or both or both that would uh, no because that means we have to do a tiebreaker and that's another anime. Uh -huh. Wait, we have, we don't have to do a tiebreaker. We're the weeb crew, baby. We but you're playing against each other. It's not uh, oh. one of you has to get the five hundred dollar cash prize. Oh, I I was I really just thought we were gonna win like an Applebee's gift card. Oh yeah, one of you has to win the Applebee's gift card. Yeah. Time to spin. I, I just want it to be over. Let's, let's spin now and hope that we get something to finish it off. Uh, Pajio Blue Steel. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody's been going on this. I don't think so either. <sighs> Honestly, I wish I just stuck to the OVA Blu-ray specials. Arpeggio of Blue Steel, Ars Nova, is a 12-episode 3D CG TV show from 2013 made by Sans Again, the same studio behind Black Rock Shooter, the new Initial D movies, and Terraformers. Which is not a great track record, but they certainly have made things. The director, Seiji Kishi, has a bit more sauce behind them, as they directed Angel Beats, Assassination Classroom, Persona 4 The Animation, and a bunch of other high-profile stuff. But really, this show could go either way. It's only our second full anime, but it's certainly something. Look, it's letterbox. It's already cinema. Right? All right, I'm in. a battle of what? <laughs> Uh, the United Nations has a navy. Why do they have RGB neon gamer setups on their ships? <laughs> Is that girl old enough to be on the ship? <laughs> oh, and they got the lady, the girl from Persona 5. This is really like a fucking Persona cast. What the fuck is going yeah, it's, on Yeah, it's Persona yeah. but submarines. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So there's Asuka, and then this must be Rey. Oh, yeah. Shinji looked like Gerard Way. <laughs> <Does. laughs> the premise of Arpeggio of Blue Steel Ars Nova, which I'll refer to as Blue Arpeggio because halfway through the show I forgot the title, is basically just Evangelion with submarines. The world is in a post-apocalypse due to rising sea levels, and Earth has been invaded by this mysterious force called the Fleet of Fog, which are all advanced warships that are holding the planet hostage. Our main character, who we all just called Gerard Way because we forgot his real name, has to pilot one of these advanced warships with a ragtag crew in order to fight back against this fleet and save the world. The only twist is that all of these advanced warships are piloted by artificial intelligence, in the form of cute anime girls. <laughs> um, um, can I see some ID first? 
奇弁ですねただ回り道をしているだけでは Jesus <laughs> this guy's so edgy yeah, this kid is such a fucking edge lord <laughs> he's so funny he's, he, he's literally what Shin, like, people wanted Shinji to be like he yeah, pilots yeah. the robot episode one and just goes fuck it I'm in charge now so the opening of the show is pretty standard. Gerard Way gets in the robot submarine and they start attacking the evil ships coming to destroy them. The ship battles are okay and none of the main characters are interesting, so we were getting pretty checked out. But in a show where the main character is a blank slate and all the enemies are cute ship girls who we are told will never break their programming, what do you think happens whenever Gerard Way wins a battle? I'm not even gonna let you answer that because the show makes it very clear. Oh my god. It is the power of love. Let's fucking go, dude. This is a harem anime and I'm filling that spot. Whoa. Aren't camera shots and anime so cool? Little degeneracy. I was gonna say, that's like an awesome name for like a podcast. So hope is not lost, because the cute ship girls are infinitely more interesting than our main cast. In particular, I latched onto Harana, the blonde girl, because she's a small girl in a big jacket and that's just peak design to me. Is the kid gonna join the fighting? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Is that a Looney Tunes-esque cutout of a human? Let's oh, go. Needs her jacket to function. Let's fucking go. This is my favorite character by far. Oh yeah. Cute. Yeah, you're getting that Moe card. I'm sorry. This is the most Moe a show has ever been. I fucking love this. Yeah, she really does just need to have the jacket. On. The jacket calls out to her like the Green Goblin mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope the rest of the show is this. They just completely forget about the battleships. I do not care about the main cast. Who though. fucking cares about Gerard Way? Around episode four, the show just takes a multi-episode detour to focus on Harana becoming friends with a small girl, and it's unironically the best part of the entire show. Normally, in something like this, seeing the plot come to a screeching halt to focus on a side character, especially one used as a fan service moe element, would be a bit jarring to me. However, the plot of Blue Arpeggio is so boring and uninteresting that we were just fully okay with never seeing the main cast again. I don't care that Gerard Way is voiced by Jonathan Joestar. He's not an interesting character. Unfortunately, the show does get back on the rails for the last six episodes, but as if they flipped on a switch, suddenly every ship girl character has their own insane moe quirk, with about half of them having crushes on other characters or just being really horny for some reason. And honestly, it made the show a lot more palatable. What the? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, this show's kind of base. This is, it's getting better now that the characters are all insane. Oh, okay. Well, who are you? I don't know, but I like their design. Oh my god. Just like me for real. Get pregnant, get pregnant, get pregnant, get pregnant. <laughs> they even have a beach episode near the end, which kind of makes up for several episodes of just submarines fighting each other that I don't even care enough about to show you. <laughs> this is this is why they needed to hire an experienced director. Yes. Who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Still doing it. It. <laughs> oh, is the ED different now? Is it all their boats? That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually great. That's good. It's funny. Well, because the, the three episode rule would fuck this show because the first three episodes are like the worst shit. It's it's yeah. like him getting the ship. No one cares about Gerard Way. He's being edgy and fighting the military. And then you don't realize that they're going to do the harem thing until like episode four or five where he blows right. up uh, Hatsune Miku and uh, Jacket Girl. Yeah. And then it like hard pivots to her storyline. And I love her. Uh, she's great. Those two episodes are the best in the entire show. It, gen yeah. it generally improved like halfway through. Yeah, like, yeah that I would point, say, I would say it does point. get better past that point. It kind of, it does kind of dip down a little bit after the beach episode, but it picks itself back up by the end. Yeah, it's it's one of those weird things where it's like the strength of the show 
is uh, the character interactions, the cute girls doing funny things, the moe element, I guess. Yeah. And then the focus of the show is these battles that have, are like no consequence for majority of the time. Yeah. And it's like they're not terrible, but it's like there's so much. There's a more interesting show going on in the background here that like you will like just move the camera toward occasionally, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, let's watch that show, and you move me back to this fucking ship shit. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I would say, having seen this, I almost feel like we should have rated a lot of those can watches that we gave earlier, like a don't watch, because I feel like this is still better than them. Uh, this, was this was entertaining. Yeah, this is this is fine. <laughs> it's a it's a pr it's a pretty strong like can watch for me. I don't I'm, I can't say you should watch it by any means, given just in the season it aired. I think there's 15 shows you could have watched that were better, but. Yeah, I think that even my should has caveats to it, so it's hard to asterisk, yeah. asterisk, asterisk. Yeah, yeah, it's, it 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 kind of brought it together a little bit, I guess. At the like the whole, yeah. it slowly progressed we, to the point. I would say if this got a season two, I would watch it, and it would probably be starting at a better point than this would be, right? Yeah, like they kept probably. it kept climbing slowly to the point where I'm like a season two, a season three, or something like that could probably make it like an enjoyable, like actually strong should watch show. Yeah, but it just didn't get there. So you know, bingos. Let's let me see here. Um, I can't believe there are no cicadas in this. No, cicadas went extinct. I'm fucking offended. Like you have a fucking global warming anime and there are no cicadas. Honestly. Yeah, I really, I really got to go with uh, Moe, if anything, just for the two and a half episodes with the girl with the coat. That was the best part of the whole show, by it far. It was absolutely the best part Should of the show. Should have just been its own show. Yeah. Uh, Mumi, what are, you, what are you putting on your bingo card? Well, I guess I could go maid. There were maids for like 10 seconds. So I think I think we just go maid. Maid, that's an easy pick. What's my, what's my choice for this? I think it, would we count this as a harem anime? I think it counts. I yeah, why not? It's There's, pretty much a harem anime. Like, come on. Yeah, you're not you're not fooling me with this. He is just straight up recruiting people to his cause. So I'm gonna go harem, and with that, I have almost a perfect square. <laughs> <Which, laughs> That's gotta be worth something, right? <laughs> maybe is that a type of bingo where you get a square somehow? This sucks. I think Mumi spun this. I think it's Sai again. Let's just let's just say it's Sai, even if it's not, because uh, I forget the order that we did this in. It doesn't really matter. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Right round, baby. Three, Spin. two, one. Speed. I'm gonna keep doing the Please end thing. this now. Vine sauce. What Chiro the fuck? Inside. Uh, what, uh, is this a Pixar movie? <laughs> this is Korean. Please say this isn't available. Hero Inside, brand new show. Tune in Monday, 22nd January on Cartoon Network Africa. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we're, we must be able to watch it somewhere since it's on fucking Cartoon Network. The Cartoon Network page is literally, hey, watch this space. Our creative team's hard at work preparing some great new stuff for this show. But you're oh. a bit early and can't share yet. So please check back again. I don't think we can watch this. Um... Oh, I found it. No. Mummy girl Mummy can girl get can it. Get <laughs> Let's it. go. Let's okay. I'm in. Never mind. Hero Inside, another random kids show. This time produced by Tooniverse, a Korean TV network. I've spun a lot of these types of shows in the wheel, and usually they're unavailable in North America. However, even though this show finished airing in January of 2024, it's already been picked up by Cartoon Network and has an English release. How good of an English release? Well, you decide for yourself. Nobody's stronger than the Great Finger. Take a seat and learn. CG animation needs to be pretty on point. Bro, Pixar needs to take notes. Uh, could it be? This, you know what this reminds me of? You know those fake mobile game ads? Where it's like level yes. 100 gangster or whatever? That's what this yep. is. That's what, yeah. See, look at these like hyper realistic blender models for like this. Yeah. Sets. I went to the opening concert for their Magnus Skull Tour. Whoa! Burn it all down! Whoa! It's getting worse. This, it feels I like a you. Cartoon Network show made in an alien planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
The basic premise of Hero Inside is that there's a bunch of magic comic books that can summon the superheroes inside them if you chant their name, which allows the comic book owner to control the superhero and use them to fight for them like a Pokemon. Our main character, who I don't remember the name of, is a high schooler who finds one of these comics with the shitty superhero Crying Man inside it, and he uses it to become a vigilante who helps the people of San Francisco. Created by Scott. Hmm. Created by Scott. You know, Scott. <laughs> Scott the Waz? <laughs> I know who's editing this part of the video. <laughs> Scott the Waz, if you're watching this. Oh, hey. Did you make this character? <laughs> He's basically just shitty Cyclops. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it is. They are in a high school, though. We're, we're in a school. We did it. Yes. School setting. Yes. I get something. And of course, there's other superhero comics all over the city for some reason, and different people throughout the show find these comics and use the superheroes for their own purposes, many of whom our main character has to fight in order to take their comic away from them. Again, collecting them like Pokemon. Is this becoming fate? It literally is fate, yeah, it's, it's that premise. If you hand it over now, this doesn't have to get ugly. It's X from Teen Titans. Yeah, also I'll bet you five billion dollars that that's the blonde girl from his high school. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, who else could it be? Oh, oh mommy oh girl can get it. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Holy yes. shit. Yeah, I wish that was me. Look at this place, it's a mess. <sighs> what do you mean? This is actually like super clean, what the fuck? It's also massive. Look at how gigantic uh, this basement yeah, is. Yeah, how the- <laughs> what? A house in California? This man is this a lives in millionaire. San Francisco? And if he, hurls he can he can put up a ladder in the basement and sit on top of it and not <laughs> hit the ceiling. How big is this basement? Oh my lord. This show is surprisingly good, I'm gonna say it. It's like it's got the sauce. I hate it. Why is it good? It only took about three or four episodes, which are only 12 minutes by the way, for us to start liking this show, and not even just because of the hot mummy girl character. It's got good 3D animation, the premise is interesting, and the comedy and character bits were all genuinely funny at some points. Was that just the Disney Hercules design? But like, Kinda, yeah. palette swapped? He's got like the hair. For the last time, I'm not your dad! I never had a son like you! Oh no! That was actually kind of a good bit. Got another Mummy Girl comic for you. Go wild. <laughs> Even hornier superhero comics. Wait a minute! Go, go back. That was a Magical Girl comic. No. Right there! Uh, sh uh, sugar, sh sugar, pang, pang. That is literally just a Magical Girl. Technically, technically, it's a genre slot, so. It is a genre slot, but Man. here's the thing, Sai. Do you want to watch another anime after this? Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> By the last three episodes, we all pretty much came to the conclusion that this was the best show we've seen so far. The final battle in particular just goes so over the top with the fights and references and humor. It's incredibly hard not to like it. It just feels like a decent Pixar movie. We have you surrounded. Sugar, sugar, bang, bang. Here we go. Pop, Let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a magical girl. Do we count that as magical girl? It is a genre space. Yeah. But that was a magical girl. We could see what we roll next and go like, okay, do we want to actually watch No, if that? we roll it, we have to watch it. That's not... Also, it's a Super Sentai character. What the fuck? Destruction on a global scale. This is awesome. That's not what that means. That's not That's what. Not what, the, what? This is a city block. <laughs> a single city has not left San Francisco. Strike. You know, kick, kinda. That's fucking. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like I've been done dirty. What the fuck? <laughs> the magical girl did nothing. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if she can give you the, the magical girl slot when she appears in like <laughs> for 15 seconds. Even the fucking, even Ultraman or Common uh, Rider did like yeah. actual moves. Search your feelings. You know it. 
to be true. Oh, he said that. He said that. He said the Star Wars line. Said the thing. Though the best part of this show by far is in one of the episodes about halfway through, and I'll let you figure out why. Wait. You mean Spider-Man Two? I saw it in the movie like a hundred times. No. Mummy girl. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. She's going to Spider-Man 2. This is the greatest show ever made. Spider-Man 2. Yeah, instead of Spider webs, it's too. Like, I was going to tear her like uh, stuff too. How you doing? Please. Oh my God. Let's go. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Never have we been so back. When we really just snatched a defeat from the jaws of victory. Not <laughs> unlike did. the villain in this show. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not going to give Mumi the magical girl because they show up for one scene and then never are mentioned again. <laughs> yeah. Um, however, I feel like Blue Arpeggio did have more harem in it to justify perhaps... Yeah, but if you want to take awesome. away my harem spot for compensation, I will accept that too. I'm just not giving you Magical Girl. <sighs> Aren't you glad I forced us at gunpoint to watch this? No, the gun was scary, but <laughs> I'm happy now. Yeah, that was fun. That was the best show we've seen so far. A genuinely good show. It was also the shortest. Also the shortest. I, yeah, again, it's like 12 minutes each. Like, that's crazy. It was not the shortest. Well, the, well it's the not shortest shorter. TV show. Yeah, Hitalia didn't count because it's like a bonus Blu-ray special. Right, yeah. Um, This is shorter than Neil's, so. The only and yeah, it's the best one. And this is the best of everything we've seen. This is better than Hell Target. This is just a genuinely good show <sighs> that I would actively recommend people watch if they think yeah. it would be fun because it is pretty... It's got good comedy, good action. They do a Spider-Man 2 reference. They don't pick up the Golden Gate Bridge and connect it to Alcatraz using Magneto's powers, but that it's not everything could be cinema. They do have a sexy mummy girl, so I think that sexy makes up. Sexy yeah, mummy, mummy girl who does the Spider-Man 2 reference. Because like, I think when we rolled this too, we were like, ah, oh, it's going to look like CGI mobile Chinese gotcha game. The CCP is going to steal my data, type, which it kind of does. It still does. Every episode start when it's just chill in the beginning does look like a mobile game ad. I feel like at any point you could cut away, like you zoom out to someone playing the game on their phone being like, buy now for a million coins. <laughs> <laughs> like... I think the when people make fun of the mobile game commercial look, it's it's because they look strangely good, right? Like they're incredibly high yeah. quality for no reason. So making an entire show of that just unironically, I'm like, that's fine. I'm great with that's that. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Before we say before we say watch the show, Mumi. Mumi, what are your thoughts on this show? You're the say one. Say something nice. Say something nice about the show. I hate that this was the best show that we watched so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But I, I'm all in on this show. It was genuinely very good. I'm gonna give it a strong should watch. Yeah, bordering on a on a must watch. Bordering on a must watch. Um, I I'm not still not sure if this is anime. I, the, I don't think this is anime at all. Actually, I'm surprised this is on my anime list. I would <laughs> I not be surprised if, my anime if this video comes out and like a like a my anime list database mod sees this and goes, "What the fuck? This shouldn't be on here." This is way less anime than Scott Pilgrim was by oh, far. Oh yeah, absolutely by far. <laughs> so funny. And rule 34 artists, I'm looking right at the camera right now. If if you have seen this video, you need to make goddamn um, Mummy Girl fan art. I need to see it on my timeline right now. Hashtag Mummy Girl. Get it trending or something. I need <laughs> the fan art of Mummy Girl, please. I know you follow me. I've got me. the gun. I've got my gimp suit on. I'm no longer asking. <laughs> Oh, I guess, well, I guess we should figure out what bingo slots we want. Oh, yeah, bingo. Hold on. Let me pull up Photoshop before we... Bingo. <sighs> you got cop. <laughs> there was a cop in this, which is insane. Yeah, yeah. I'm Mike. I'm Mike school setting here and then hope beyond hope that I get easy. I mean, you could probably have said strange colored hair for this one because I'm sure there's characters. You could, you could point right, that out pretty yeah. easily. So. Mommy girl's hair is white or something. I don't know. I'm going to go with... Uh... 
school setting. School wait, setting. Wait, are you, wait, are you going with strange colored hair or uh, school setting? I'm going with school setting. Oh, okay, okay. We can both go for the same thing because this was yeah, school yeah, setting yeah, oriented. Yeah. Mumi, are you also going to go for school setting? And if so, which one? <laughs> I am upset that that doesn't count as a magical girl, but this counts as an anime. What you the give fuck? You both school setting uh, ones if you want. <laughs> what? It doesn't even do me any good. <laughs> I'm I am literally all in on this magical girl. Yeah, right. you need a magical girl. Well, there weren't cicadas in this, so you can't do that either. I know. You're I can't even get my cross I wanted. You're in last God place damn. now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to go for school settings, just so we all go for school setting. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, that one. Perfect. School setting all the way. Two, well, we're all four in a row now, so we need either strange colored hair, um, another music video, or uh, from the 2000s. 2000s. Or a magical girl anime. Like an actual one. An actual it, one. I'll even accept it if there is a magical girl, but they're like a prominent character or something. Yeah. Like, it, it, oh just my god. A, a just having a reference does not count. Let's spin. Let's spin. Three, two, one, let's go. What are we gonna get? Please end this. Hey! What the fuck? What? I don't, uh, <laughs> A fire safety anime involving animals in an anime village. Well, it's not a music video. There's no hair because they're animals. It's not from the 2000s. And it's not a magical girl. I am cursed. Spin number 10 is Animal Village Firefighters, a fire safety PSA from 1972. I don't even know who made this. I don't care. I feel like I'm in like a swanky like bank lobby waiting for the teller. <laughs> Fuck! Explodes <laughs> <laughs> through your door. <laughs> Me when I see the mummy girl rule 34 that comes out <laughs> after this video. <laughs> oh, I got Tezuka? this cool motherfucker. Is that dog fucking Tezuka? <laughs> I bet that is a Tezuka reference. This is a PSA about how you shouldn't leave electronics plugged in because they might start a fire. It's like 10 minutes long. Uh, a mole man firefighter saves the day after a dog that looks like Osama Tezuka burns the village down. I don't know. There weren't any subtitles. What do you want from me? You think I owe you an explanation? Fuck you. Are there Wait, human are there people? What? What the fuck? Is this like a segregated village of just animals? <laughs> what do you mean? What's happening? I like how, like, despite any not having subs, we still more or less perfectly understood what was happening. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think there was any translation that was really needed. You kind of get the point. No. Yeah. And this was a good anime. Um, would I recommend that you watch it? Probably not. I don't know if Probably there's any not, reason like... to. But you it's watch cool. It. It, you can watch it. That's why the rating I guess I exists. would not advise against it. No, it's not a don't watch, but it you have no reason to seek it out, um, which puts it in the exact spot of can watch for me. Yeah, well, same. I think you can watch it. Yeah. Solid can watch. I guess there are no YouTube videos about this. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. That's that's a fair. Um, yeah, there weren't any cicadas, unfortunately. I mean, you got your 70s slot. Um, I don't know if I'd call this ugly. It's just very old. No, it's not ugly. But it is 70s. Did, it did have a secondary school setting. I should have asked which school setting did you want to fill out. Probably this one for three in a row, right? No, I wanted the other one. You wanted the other one for... Because that'll give him four in a row, and all he needs is Cicada's beatboxing. But he did say he wanted the the other one because he wanted three in a row when we... That's not what I said. I'll, I'll give you this one and so you can have 70s, and then you can have Cicada's if you really want. I'll, I'll retcon the history. <laughs> that is what I said. Well, it's not what you said at the time. It's kind of a speak now or forever hold your breath type situation. And all you need is cicadas, beatboxing, and a magical girl anime. You've gotten literally none of your sticker bomb spaces. Yeah. Which is really funny. Oh, uh, yeah. No YouTube videos because it's more or less the only thing I can really go with. Uh, was this a fantasy setting, would we say? No. I have no know. idea what the fuck setting is. I don't was. know why there were humans. The humans made everything so much more confusing. Uh, I might just go glasses because there's no other alternatives. Come on, movie. It's your role next, please. 
We somehow keep threading the needle. We're so close. We are so close to like actually getting something. And it's your spin now, Mumi. Again, we've done this? several full circles. Well, just give me the countdown. I need only the Macho Girl slot, and it is my spin. It would only be fitting that with my spin, I will roll a Magical Girl show. Take us and home. So I spin. What is that? Is that? Oh, there we go. What the fuck? <laughs> well, it's only nine minutes. Source crunchy roll. So this is available. I'm I'm gonna believe. Lee's Detective Agency, a holiday of two hours, a 10 minute special episode of something I've never heard of that's somehow connected to the Ark Knights universe. I don't know. I don't care. I think this show might have strange colored hair in it. Uh, it's on YouTube. What an anticlimax. This isn't even animated. This is a motion comic, huh? Let them cook. Is someone want to the bigger the bigger card? What even is this? I don't fucking know, dude. This fucking sucks. <laughs> this Watching so them bad. walk around. I'm so fucking done, dude. I hate this randomizer. How long even is this video? I, I started recording this over a month ago. I have over 40 hours of footage from this piece of shit on my hard drive. This is how it ends? Do we want to count this as a finale? We can just veto it anyway. Even though we're watching it. I'm not opposed. We can just skip this because it's anticlimactic. I don't, I don't like this. What, 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 why even, like, honestly, why are we even bother with, yeah, fuck it, veto. I, I, yeah, just, just, just fuck this. Just leave in the video, like, yeah, veto this. This sucks for a finale. This does suck for a finale. I'm not going to watch this. Give us, like, a cool movie or something. Mumi, you got to redeem yourself. <laughs> I could have won and I chose not to is how much that sucked. Uh, sorry to any Lee's Detective Agency fans. I'm not... Uh, Man, imagine your show sucking so bad. It's not that even that it sucked. This is better than like stuff we've seen. It's just such an anti-climax for the ending of yeah, the video. Yeah, it's like, oh. Uh, give us like a like a cool OVA or something. Give us something, please. So Mumi, right. you, you got... Uh, give, us, give us another spin here. All right, all right. Let's go. What do we got? <laughs> it's a music video. Ah! I get My Vito. God. Vito. 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 Mumi spins again. <laughs> Fuck that. What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, this so looks more interesting. Video. Just keep spinning until we show up with something Vito. interesting. Vito. Come, come on, the Hatsune Miku. <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> it's two thousand. It's fifty-eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I got a bingo. Uh, uh, what the? Uh, Twenty-six <laughs> episodes. <laughs> the full two core. Boo Boo Cha Cha is about a dog who died <laughs> due to a fatal accident Boo -boo and was resurrected as a toy car. <laughs> Vita. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Akira! No, that doesn't exist! Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we're watching Akira. Oh my god! <laughs> whoa, whoa. God damn it. Vito. No, Vito. Vito. Oh god, no. Vito. Uh, no. Vito. Vito. <laughs> Vito. Uh, Vito. Uh, uh, Vito. <laughs> Sucks. Fuck no. Yeah, you know. We should really do this again sometime. What are you no. fucking mental? What the? No, what the fuck? fuck? No, we are not. Well, we had ever, it, it, it was fun. We watched anime. anime. It was, it was it really good. Was what are you talking about? This is fucking horseshit. This is awesome. I'm the worst. We watched Neil's. It was good. It was fun. 